I'm Atuba Judge. Welcome to the month of August. Praise God. Wow, we are in the eighth month of the year 2023. Hey, praise God. God's plan is big. Let me tell you the truth. This year, God is confirming you as his son. He told us that, behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. And then he says, now we are the sons of God. Let me tell you that you, this month, God is revealing you as his son. I was telling you yesterday, if you look at the things I've been sharing with you, precept being upon precept, line being upon line, you will understand that the month of your manifestation has come. Praise God. Now, God is going to be manifesting great things in your life. Oh, he's going to be manifesting great things in your life. So I invite you, if you've not joined our prayer meeting that is going on today already, join the next prayer watch. Praise God. Just, just, just join. The, the prayer meeting is via Zoom. So just join the prayer um, watch. Join the next watch. And, and let's just have a great time together. Praise God. There's a lot the Spirit of God is sharing with us that concerns this month of August. So you'll be prepared. Your ears will be tuned to receive instructions from him. Please join. And I also invite you to our Telegram community, the Complete Church community. Please join. Get the link. The link is, 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 is beneath this message. Get the link. Join. And let's just grow together. And that's what the Lord began to instruct me to do going forward now create an online community that we will it's it's a whole community praise god so so join and let's experience the lord together praise god can we call for that daily bread right now now this is the first day of the month of august what are you going to do how are you going to release your faith consigning every need now during the prayer meeting every 3 p.m that that 3 p.m watch we concentrate on praying for every need that will show up in the month of august and we deal with it knowing that god will supply sufficiently for it now how much just think about it this is the month that god is revealing you as his son now, when I mean as his son, I'm not talking about men. I'm talking about sons and daughters. Praise God. He's revealing you as his own. He's displaying his love for your life. He's manifesting, showing you thought that this one is my own. So trust me, this is the month that men will wonder at you. Oh, yes. Men will wonder at you. They will look at you and say, who are you? <laughs> yeah, that's the kind of things that are going to be happening in your life. Let me tell you, it's going to be testimonies upon testimonies upon testimonies. Praise God. Now, like I told you yesterday, I'm not the type of person that will tell you, see what Satan is planning. There's evil. There's no. There are times, even there are times where God will give us warning to give to people. Now, why is he giving us warnings? Because sometimes people don't like to listen to instructions. So you give them warning so that they will turn to God's instruction. Those that have ears to hear. But now, the fact that we don't always concentrate on, hey, the devil has planned 52 accidents. Oh, this, no, 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 no. Is the devil planning such things? Yes. You should know that by now that the devil is always looking for a way for you to die. He's seeking for whom he may devour. He comes around you each time to see if there's an open, <laughs> open place so that he can attack you. But he sees you're always protected. Even in your ignorance, even in your mistakes, you are still protected. See that now? So the devil is not your problem. He has never been your problem. The devil cannot even attack you. He doesn't have that guts to attack you. He doesn't. Do you know who you are? You are the apple of God's eyes. 
Are you ready to call forth your daily bread? Praise God. Say it with me. Say, Father, I demand for everything I will need in the month of August. I receive them daily as my daily bread. They will all respond as the day comes. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Man, praise God. Let me tell you something. This month, during this broadcast, I, I, I see, I can perceive that already, that there's going to be lots of ministrations taking place. Yeah, I, I see that already. So just open your heart, get ready. Just, just, just be ready for anything. Praise God. Because listen, the kind of favor you're going to walk in this month, the way you're going to experience God this month. The way God is going to be showing up for you this month. I'm telling you, you will wonder at yourself, like, what did I do right? It's not about what you did right. It's because you are a child of the Most High God. He's setting a distinction between who, who, those that are His and those that are not. He's setting a clear distinction. And we are not, I'm not talking about what you have struggled for. No, I'm talking about God stepping in to say, this one is my own. It's like having a rich father who shows up for you. Praise God. You know when daddy shows up for you. Ah, everybody's worthy. Who, who, who came around? Who's here? Who's, who's came around? Daddy showed up for me. Praise God. Now that's how God is showing up for you. He's showing up at your job. He's showing up in your business. He's showing up in your marriage. Oh, I'm telling you, he's showing up in every way. He's showing up for you in your school. He's showing up. And let me tell you this. The fact that God is showing up should make you know that there are circumstances that you're going to get into that will require him showing up. Are you getting it now? So there are certain things that will happen. Now, so it depends on how he wants to show up for you. And it depends on how much you can release your faith for him to show up for you. I spoke to you about Sherak, Mishak, and Abednego. It was a national showing up he did for them. Praise <laughs> God. In the sight of everyone, they made the news. Have you ever heard that people entered that fire? People entered fire in a furnace and they came out unhurt. Not even the smell of fire or smoke on their clothes. They made the headlines. Now that's national showing up. But you see, that national showing up came with a national challenge. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm giving you, I'm giving you heads up right now. So when you see trouble come, remember I told you, God is showing up for your sake. So don't give up so easily. Don't give up so easily. Stand your ground. Stand your ground. Why are you standing your ground? You're standing in the name of Jesus. This is what God is doing in our lives this month. He is showing up for you. Everybody have thought you were wrong. Everybody have thought you, you, I mean, you're done for. Everybody have thought everything is over for you. Everybody have thought you've made a mistake. Everybody have thought you've made a blunder in your life. Hey, God is showing up for you. Praise God. He's showing up. He's showing up. And he's showing to everybody that you are different. You're not like every other person. He's showing up to say, this one is exempted. He's showing up to say, this one is my own. Praise God. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. I, I see someone in a hostage situation. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Someone who has been kidnapped and you're looking for the person. You've been praying about this for a few days now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord says, I'm showing up on your behalf concerning that person. And that person will be released by the supernatural hand of the Lord. You will hear him tell you this, that they were released by the supernatural hand of God. I see the Lord setting confusion in their midst. And I see a man walking in to deliver them, even right now. 
Therefore, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, set that one free right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, set him free. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. I'm telling you, Lord is doing great things. Some of you business partners that you have lost, they are coming back to look for you. I'm telling you what's going to happen this month. They are coming back to look for you. And they will tell you this, I couldn't sleep. Your name kept ringing in my heart. I've got to do business with you again. Because I see someone, who well, someone actually stole a business from you. I mean, I literally stole a business from you. you. You brought the business in, you introduced this person as a partner, but the person went behind your back and stole that business. And this, this business was meant to change your life. You knew this business was going to change your life. Listen, within this month, in a few days' time, you will see this movement will start. The same people will look for you and they will establish that business with you. So fear not. That's what the Lord is saying, I should tell you. Fear not. They are coming back. You know, sometimes when people do you evil, they think they have the last laugh. No, even God, sometimes, why doesn't God just show up early? <laughs> <laughs> By whose time? <laughs> Praise God. By whose time? For oh, why God? I mean, ah. you know, so that even after God have shown up, like, ah, oh God, you should have come earlier. <laughs> Imagine Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego coming out from that fans. Ah, guy, Meshach, are you okay? Ah, I'm okay. Shadrach, ah, I'm, I'm very okay. Ah, thank God, do. Hey, you think, do you think that's how they came out of the fire? No, they came out like, you know, the Bible says, he that sits in the heavens shall laugh. I can imagine God when they were throwing them into that furnace. I can imagine God looking at the angels and like, these guys, this, this, these guys, they don't know me. They don't know me. No, what should we do? No, relax. Make sure they don't get hot. Should we deliver? No, don't deliver them. Just make sure they don't get hot. Because I'm going to show my power through then praise God. You remember Jesus. Who sinned that this man was born blind? Jesus said, no one. But that the power of God may be made manifest in him. Praise God. And that's exactly what I hear the Lord say. That the power of God may be made manifest in you. That's why those things happen. When they happen. Praise God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I see healings taking place already. God is healing a lot of people. Let me tell you something. This month, you're going to have a great, mighty testimony of healing everywhere. I'm telling you the truth. Those in the healing ministry, get ready for dimensions of healings and miracles that you've never seen before. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you what's going to happen this month. And don't, when I say this month, don't think, uh, it's just going to happen. Eh? Like, let's rush for it to happen. Oh, God, my own has not happened yet. So 31st of this month, say, ha, ah, oh, God, let it happen. As though after the month, the door is going to be closed. Like, ah, if you didn't get healed in August, then sorry for you. No, sir. God is opening new dimensions. Because there are things God is going to do within this month that will stir your faith to another level. Now, because he wants you to begin to operate from that place. So it's not just a, an August thing. He wants you to operate from that level with him. The same thing he's doing with your business. He's going to bring you into realms like me. I mean, is this me? Some of you will pinch yourself like, is this a really happening? Or is someone, you know, like they say, someone whining me, <laughs> praise God. No, nobody's whining. God is not whining you. It is real. It's for you. So take note of the upliftments that God is going to bring your way. God is simply telling you, it's not a one-time thing. God is simply telling you this is, because as I'm sharing this, I, I, I can see someone who God blessed, and this is what he's doing. He's trying to see how God, this thing God has given me. I think if God doesn't do anything for me again, ah, it's enough. No, no, that's not the attitude. Thank you, Lord. Because he's, he's, I mean, I come on, shakala, <laughs> You know, when you bust something, the real thing shows. See that? 
And that's what God is doing in your life. You are busting and then your reality, this miracle is your reality. It's not a, it's not a fluke. It's not just once in a time thing, no. This is your reality from henceforth. God is saying to you, this is how big I am with you. Praise God. So why don't you trust him? Believe him. Believe him. I see someone, your concern as you're watching me right now, your concern about the growth of your hair. What a funny thing. Praise God. And that's how the Holy Spirit, he picks up thoughts, he picks up everything. Your concern about the growth of your hair. Hey. You're worried about it. I hear the Lord say, your hair is growing. Praise God. Your hair is growing now. You are going to see this as a miracle. You're going to see this as a miracle. That's, see, God is just manifesting his love in every way for you. Praise God. Your finances are increasing. Oh, yes. They are increasing. Don't look at the situation of things around. Don't look at the economy of your nation. Nah. Our economy is in God. Our, the, the, the bank we operate from is in heaven. Oh, Jesus said, don't put your treasure here on earth. Put it. Now, he, exactly what Jesus said is what's going on. You save that money in the bank. Inflation has caught up with that money. And that money means nothing. But those of us who have our, our account in heaven, we just withdraw and spend. Yeah. We withdraw and spend. Yeah. Praise God. Now that's God for you. So don't look at the situation, man. We don't know where this country is going to. Now, the country may not even know where it's going to, but I know where I'm going. Praise God. I'm on my way to prosperity. I'm on my way to establishment. I'm on my way to making progress. I'm on my way to God's divine call and life for me. That's where I'm headed for. I remember the, the Archbishop Benson in Dahusa. He was in a plane, seated. And the, the pilot, they, they got into a storm. And the pilot now announced. Now, you know, you, you consider there are equipment plane used today that they didn't have then. So now that's why you have less plane crashes, I mean, now than, you know, in those days. Then. So this pilot got into a storm and lost control of the plane and whatever. So the pilot now announced and said, um, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> you know how many pilots say, look, I don't, right now, I don't know where I'm going to. The Archbishop from where he was sitting shouted, Pilot, if you don't know where you are going to, I know where I'm going to. I, I think he was headed for the United States. I'm going to the United States to preach the gospel. So plain, get on track. And the pilots announced later that, look, we are back on track. Hey! But someone in that plane knew where he was going to praise God. So don't, don't leave your life. No. Now you can imagine a pilot announcing, I don't know where we are going to anymore. Ah, hey, Father. Everybody will start praying. Hey, everybody calling on their God. No, all sort of things will begin to take place. All sort of panic will begin. Some will be confessing their sins, Father. Look, if you save me, I'll never see it again. Hey, hey. But someone knew where he was going to. Don't let life carry you. I hear what I'm saying. Let the Holy Spirit carry you. And he will carry you to where God has destined you to be. That's what I pray for you right now. Holy Spirit. Because listen, you will need the Holy Spirit more than ever before this month. You will need him more than ever before. So soak yourself in him. Father, I pray for everyone watching me right now. Let your spirit carry each one and bring us into the place of great manifestations as you have said. For this is your plan, O Lord, and this is the season we are in. Therefore, Lord, by your spirit, everyone watching me right now, they come into that place of covenant where you are. they are led by you. Step after step, they are led into the place of manifestation. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 
Open your heart and let the Lord just flow and bring blessings to you. Praise God. If you haven't joined our Telegram group community, our Telegram community yet, please join. Please join. I'm going to be communicating more on that group on Telegram, the Complete Church community. Now, if you've not gotten a link, you can send us a message. We'll send you the link to join. For now, you don't even search it to join. You've got to be invited. So send us a message if you've not gotten the link, and we will send you the link so that you can join. God bless you. You're going to have an amazing month. I'm telling you the truth. Like I told you earlier, join the next prayer meeting that is going on today. Join the next watch. And let's just have a great time together. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Happy New Month. Bye. <laughs>